Here what's up guys back, and welcome back, back, back to my YouTube channel um, Today is going to be a little bit of a different video to my usual podcasts um, This video has actually been requested by a lot of youngsters that are starting university And I thought to myself, boom, let me make a little video about starting university What you're going to expect and what you can experience there being a fresher I mean a lot of you guys might come across some sort of anxiety going to university going to a new environment maybe being away from home but don't worry it's gonna be all good trust me just follow my tips and you'll be fine um, just before I do start the tips though I just want to say congratulations to all the people that uh, got the grades that they uh, got and got into the first choices and obviously if you didn't get the grades don't worry it's not the end of the road you can still work hard and try your best to obviously um, get the grades into university or you know get get a good get a first degree hopefully so yeah man but um boom so my first tip here about uh starting university sorry if, guys if i look to the right because i've got my notes here so i have to like look back and forth very sorry about that but um so my first tip yeah is definitely do not be shy do not be shy be confident in yourself if you if you might have a bit of anxiety and things like that but don't worry look at it like this yeah everyone there is in the same boat yeah you're all freshies so uh, freshies freshers freshies same thing <laughs> but um you're all in the same boat. So everybody's going there to look for friends, etc. So if you're all shy, you're not gonna you're gonna miss out on a lot of opportunities of making friends. So me personally, I would say go out there, make some friends, speak to people like hi, yo, my name's Faz or my name's whatever, I'll do this, like etc. And trust me, you see these people around campus anyway, so you're gonna give them an odd nod, this and that. The worst that can happen is they just ignore you and that's their loss in it, straight up, that's their loss. Um, moving on to my second tip is, I'll bring my notepad here actually, is join societies. Don't join like loads of different societies. Join like the societies that you have interest in. For example, if you're interested in football or music, oh, so let's say football, you join a football society, you join the football teams, or if you're into like hip hop, join a hip hop society. If you're into boxing, join a boxing society. In that way, you find people there with the same interests as you, and trust me, you make so many friends from that that itself. Like people from all different courses are going to be there, and you just kind of network yourself out there. And just you, when you when you are part of a sports team, because I'm the boxing captain of my university boxing society team, and um, what it is, you just find people from all different courses and stuff, and you can like network out there. Like I know people that do film that want to help me with my filming stuff and I know people that are doing sports science that might help me like I don't know if I need advice etc 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 so definitely join societies and you meet loads of new people loads of new friends and it kind of like it's kind of an icebreaker as well like kind of thing um another thing as well yeah and you know what? I'm gonna leave that point to last enjoy yourself enjoy don't be them depressed people that sit at university or quiet like or sitting in their room etc go out there enjoy yourself you only got three years and trust me three years goes fast and ask anyone that's in the third year or graduate how fast university goes it goes like bang and it's done and over with so definitely enjoy yourself guys go out there just I want to say don't go like crazy like nuts Go crazy! Ah, go stupid! Ah, go crazy! Go stupid! Ah. Um, and like, do all kinds of bloody stupid things, but definitely go out and enjoy yourself because you're not going to get that time being away from home, let's say, or even if you're not away from home, you commute, whatever, you're not going to get that university time again, unless you want to do another degree, but that's long, but <laughs> it's that sound to you, but you're not going to get that time again. So make sure throughout the three years, enjoy yourself especially in your first year in your first year you can enjoy yourself a bit more because the second and third year gets a little bit more hard you need to do a bit more studying etc etc but um definitely enjoy yourself with that one um uh, another thing is this is like maybe quite mm, i don't know if this is advice or not but try to choose a good friend group like if you know people are doing things that are not good and they're not taking the studies properly, etc. Then my advice would be don't 
mixing with them people too much be friends with them cool that's fine you can be friends with everyone out there but don't mix with them too much the reason why is because you're just going to be like them and then the thing is no one's going to be there for you when you're like in your third year and you're getting two twos or thirds not saying like okay it's fair enough it's a grade it's a grade but everybody that goes there should aim for two one plus like i think you know what i mean but if you mix in with them people too much then you're gonna be like them people so don't try to mix them too much with the wrong crowd otherwise they're gonna drag you down and once you're in you're in and it's 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 a really difficult situation because you're like you've got all this freedom no one's there and stuff so you got to think as well university is like you got to think as well no one's there to tell you what to do you turn up to your own lectures you turn up to your own seminars you turn up to anything you go to whatever you choose wherever to go so it's all down to you if you want to work hard and get the good grades what well, i think you should do because if you're paying 9.25k i think it is i hope that's the price here yeah. um i should know that i'm a student myself you're not like you're wasting your money you've got to pay that back eventually you know what i'm saying so still another thing you've got to do is take your studies seriously please guys this is one thing that i hate to see at university especially a lot of young children not not young children but like 18 year olds that have just come out of school and they're like oh my god it's freedom i can do this i can do that i can go home whatever time i want yes you can but keep focus why are you actually at university now if you're at university to party and get with people and do the, all that stuff and take like every single drug in the world then i'm telling you um you're at the univer you're at university for the wrong reasons you, like just just what you do just go to your module community and say i want to i want to get dismissed and just go home because you're just wasting your time you go back you go you go into the future you're like oh damn like i've just wasted three years of my life doing nothing and messing about and i'm pretty like i'm pretty screwed now so make sure you take your study seriously for example like Allocate some time to yourself to study. You will do well. Like, look at it like this. A friend of mine um, said to me as well, look at university as a job. So you go there, you go study, and you, you, you go like, let's say, a nine to five, you got your lecture and you got other things. Study in that time frame. And then after five o'clock, you can go chill out with your mates. You can go to the gym. You can go to whatever. You know what I'm saying? So that's another thing I'll say. Um, what's another tip I've got here? I've got quite a few tips, actually. Yeah, remember why you're there as well. And um, also another thing is my, this is like personal advice for me, is at university, like it, it is difficult. It's, I wouldn't say too much in your first year, but in your second, third year, it's difficult. It gets stressful. It gets like work gets piled upon you. If you do degrees like psychology, for example, you've got to write a lot of stuff and etc. like anything like that. So, um, or if you do like English literature, you've got to write a load of work and you've got to go to this lecture and read this book and it gets stressful. So please guys, take time out for yourself in your busy schedule and go to the gym maybe go for a walk around your campus if you see my campus my campus is at campus is absolutely beautiful to take a walk around is that like probably the best place ever to walk honestly if you know Rahampton, Rahampton university if you go towards the back of it it's such a beautiful place to walk especially on a summer's day um so go for a walk listen to some music maybe go see some friends etc and yeah um another thing i'm gonna say is let me tell you a lot straight yeah you're your sleeping pan is gonna get ruined i am gonna tell you this now unless you're like like a boring person and you don't go out and go to events or anything like that your sleeping pattern is going to be ruined you're going to be sleeping at three o'clock on a normal and waking up at one so that's one thing i'm going to tell you guys straight away with that and stuff um but yeah i think that's all my tips now i went to the instagram and i asked them what things would you like me to talk about in my um in my video so i've got a couple of questions from some new um new students that are going into obviously university so let me start with um do you recommend a job while starting uni yes i do reason why is because you need money when you're at uni i'm not gonna lie and not everybody gets the max loan kind of thing so you need to actually go out there and make a bit of money depend depending on your financial situation like a lot if you want to spend money and enjoy yourself go get a job so you have a bit of extra money there so you can spend that so you don't run out of money and you're like i don't know asking people for pasta and stuff um 
I got advice on it from someone that's been to university. You don't need to do stupid shit to impress people. That's actually so true. You don't need to be some madman that like licks walls or like, I don't know, like, I, I can't, I, I'm, I'm not a crazy person, but that's crazy stuff to make people be like, ha ha ha, like, oh, look at that guy, he's sick. Like, no, just be yourself. You can only be the best version of yourself. So be yourself. Um, how is it hold on sorry how was it sharing a kitchen flat with other people and have you had any problems me personally i've never had a problem because i'm a bubby character and i get on my flatmates my flatmates in my second year were like the best flatmates ever big up to all of them i don't know if i'm gonna say i can't say their names because they might not want to be in the youtube video but they were amazing people like so friendly so nice we got on so well that's one thing i've got to say whether you don't, I would say don't like the person, but try to like the person, try to put effort towards these people. Some people are quite shy as well when you go to, the, when you see your flatmates, because you're going to be living in, with them for a year. And you might need to borrow their milk, you might need to like, oh, can I just borrow a piece of toast, because I've got no toast, or egg, or anything like that. So try to be very nice and talk to them, see how they do, and network with them as well. That's another thing, at university, you need to network with loads of people. So that's a, that's a, another one, 100%, you need to have good relationship with your flatmates and it's fine to be nice it's cool you just got i mean i was quite lucky where i li where i live is like on the top floor and we don't we have only six people in our accommodation while other people have like 11 max and that's like 11 like it's a lot you know what i mean and so six of us share one quite a big kitchen so we've got like space and etc but just get on with your flatmates trust me you're going to be there for a year and if you like just don't be snobby don't be an idiot don't be like one of the people that just like mm -hmm. Just, just go out there and talk to them and get to know them because they're going to be your friends for you might find very good friends as well like lifetime friends through that um how do you find another question is how do you find a how do you how do you find a balance between having fun and working now that's actually a good question there again i said treat university as a job yeah let's say you got like three days lectures yeah in them days work till five o'clock six o'clock as in go through your next lecture notes go through your seminar notes see what you're gonna do in the next seminar etc do some reading and get it just all done so done then go out there and enjoy yourself with your mates or go maybe to an event if there's one on or anything whatever you want to do like smoke shisha if you want to go whatever man um, play football so that that's what I'll say so have the balance so make sure you just put your work first put your work first let me tell you that any all your education stuff put that first you have to put that first because you're there for the wrong reason then and stuff so put that first and then afterwards boom after five o'clock six o'clock whenever um, when you've done a bit of reading when you've done a bit of writing etc go out with your mates be like yo what's up you good you want to link up etc and there's always people about and stuff like that and a lot of the thing about my uni as well i don't i can't say for all unis but my uni a lot of people are quite friendly and that's a, such a good thing like you you see people you're like yo what's up like you don't even know them you're like yo what's up what's up so that's a good thing about my uni but that's that that could be for every uni as well so definitely um definitely like go out there and make friends and stuff um got another question here how hard was it to study instead of going out and partying now yeah you know what i'm not gonna lie you will be tempted um first is you don't need to worry too much about that i'll say as long as you get your work done it'll be good like get your work done because it doesn't really count towards your grade if you know what i mean but i'm gonna get back to that after this question actually but um it's not that hard because i'm at university let's talk about myself i'm at university to get a first I want to get a first. That's my ideal goal, and or two one obviously. And I want to achieve, and I want to get this degree to think about. Like I want to add value to myself to hopefully get a job in the future. So if I don't take this stuff seriously now, and I leave university and I don't get that job because I've got a two two, let's just say, then I'm like, who 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 have I got to blame but myself? I can't blame you. I can't blame anyone else. I can't blame my bloody flatmate. You know what I mean for calling me out. You just got all you got to say is no i don't want to jump out i've got some work to do there's another day we can go jump out like you might have the weekends the weekends are dead at uni like if you live on campus they're dead you see like a tumbleweed going past no one's about you see maybe one person if you're lucky um i think that's all the questions i want to another one we've got another i want to enjoy myself 
but at the same time not slack at my work again just just treat university as a job go and lock yourself like nine to five and then from there boom you can enjoy yourself you know what i mean lock, lock yourself off nine to five and then you can enjoy yourself yeah so enjoy yourself after that and then boom sorry someone just came into my uh living room uh, while i'm making a video but um i think that's all the questions and this is probably going to be the end of the video um have i got any more points that i want to share yeah definitely like with university um like you want to add value to yourself and you want to find a job that's the that's the reason we all go to university you want to get a degree so you're qualified and you're educated so look at it like that and don't be like oh you know i'm just gonna go out there and party and stuff like that because bro you're paying 9.25k just don't pay 9.25k go home and party you know what i'm saying and guys honestly don't have no anxiety enjoy yourself go out there make friends you're gonna make a lot of friends you might make good ones you might make bad ones but hey ho that's how life works but just go out there and make friends that's what i'm saying if you're if you're a likable character you make loads of friends trust me because everybody's all like i said at the start of the video everybody's all in the same boat and stuff just just go out there do not be scared don't be anxious don't be like oh i'm shy this and that. just go out there the worst you can do is people just be like okay they won't think of you weirdly They're, you're just saying hello to them you just go out there and stuff and like I, i've said um many tips with that don't be afraid it's oh it's going to be okay and there's a lot of support systems at uni as well for mental health etc so you can go to them support systems they've got like um like communities that they have and you can speak to people as well and if you guys got any more questions about university or anything just come down come down so go to a third year maybe speak to them or you can come speak to myself as i'm in my third year as well and if you for any advice now thank you guys for watching my video i will see you guys very soon on my screens and hopefully this video came to some good use to you so lovely um enjoy your experience for the newcomers to university and good luck as well go smash it enjoy this new chapter of your life peace out guys